This tutorial is going to introduce you to the concept of solids in Rhino. Now, sometimes I'm going to refer to these as polysurfaces, and sometimes I'm going to refer to them as, surf as solids. The difference between the two is that if you have a, a polysurface, it doesn't necessarily need to be watertight. So you can have a, a five-sided cube, um, which would take on water on the top. But if you add the sixth side to the cube, you have a solid. If you go to the solid tools, you can see some primitive forms you can create, like a box, which I've created multiple ways in other tutorials. You can also create a sphere. I can create a cone. I can create a cylinder. And I can create a pyramid. To figure out if you have a solid or a polysurface, you can select any of these objects and under its object properties, it will say closed. This isn't so important for uh, the tools that we're going to be using like booleans and trimming, but it is important for 3D printing. So in the future, if you are 3D printing, you'll typically need to make sure that your objects are closed objects. Solids can be manipulated in a couple of ways. One way is to turn their control points on. So for instance, I'll have this box. I can select it and I can type points on. It will give me a few control points. Sometimes it's easier to type solid points on if you know that this is an actual solid rather than polysurface. You might get a few more control points. I can then select these and manipulate them how I want. Turn points on here. I can also use a couple subdivision commands like move face or move edge. So let's select move face or move edge. Oftentimes you can achieve a similar result by using a scale command, like scale 1D. I can also manipulate these objects with the, the gumball. Solids become a really powerful tool in Rhino when you start to make them interact. For instance, if I have this sphere in this um, box, let's scale the sphere down. And we're going to use something called a boolean. So boolean is basically a, a true or false operator. Um, if you're familiar with um, logical processes and something like um, scripting or coding. But I'll run a command here called boolean to objects. It's asking me what two objects I want to boolean, so I'm going to select this and this. And now if I click, it's going to run through a series of booleans. So here we have A minus B, here we have B minus A, here we have the inverse, here we have uh, the intersection, and we're back to A minus B. So this is the one I want. I'm going to right click to exit the command. And now you can see that I've booleaned this object. This is still a solid, it's still a watertight 3D printable object. You can do this multiple times as well. Instead of doing Boolean two objects this time though, I'm going to do Boolean difference. It's asking me what surfaces or polysurfaces I want to subtract from. We're going to keep the box, so that's what I want to subtract from. I'm going to hit enter, and then it's asking me what I want to subtract with. It's also asking me whether I want to delete the input. I'm going to turn this, uh, keep this on no. So I'm going to select that object and right click. It didn't look like it did anything, but if I move this object away, because I had delete no on, 
Now you can see that the two objects, or where this was intersecting the box, has been subtracted. I can also join things, solids, through a Boolean as well. So let's draw another box here. And let's say I want to make this into a singular object that I can manipulate totally. I'll shift select these, and then I'll run a command called Boolean Union. Now, if I select this, it's a single closed solid poly surface. But when I type points on for this, it doesn't run. Now I need to type solid points on because it's uh, a more complex object. I can do the same uh, manipulations as I originally could with the, uh, with the simple box.